In a world of high-capacity semi-auto pistols, why would anyone consider owning, let alone carrying, an old-fashioned revolver? That's because a good revolver can handle just about anything nature and abusive gun owners can throw at it. Powered by human muscle rather than energy harnessed from the exploding cartridge itself, revolvers tend to be more reliable than semi-autos. They are not finicky about case length, powder charge, bullet nose profile, and whatnot, as many semi-autos are. If you can shove an appropriate caliber cartridge into the cylinder, a revolver will dutifully fire that cartridge. And your revolver will never turn into a one-shooter because you've accidentally misplaced the magazine. However, Finding the best revolver can be an overwhelming task. To save you the time, we have compiled a list of the most popular and convenient choices. We've covered some of our favorite options across all budgets. Whether you want to carry a revolver, keep it in a drawer for home defense, or target shoot, there are a variety of fantastic revolvers from a variety of manufacturers that can fit your needs. Korth has released its first ever 8-shot revolver, the NXS. This model is chambered in 357 Magnum and can be had with a 4 or a 6-inch Hammer Forge precision barrel. The model we have here today is the 6-inch version. As you can see, the frame of the NXS features a Picatinny rail for mounting a scope or a red dot of your choice. The barrel shroud has also been ventilated to help cool the barrel quicker, while a DLC finish makes a revolver durable yet beautiful. A fully adjustable rear sight is paired with a front sight featuring removable side panels. Turkish walnut grips come standard on this model as well. And to top it all off, there is the optional 9mm cylinder offered as well. And then we've got the NXA model, which I have right here. This revolver comes with all the same features as the NXS model, but with a reduced weight. The steel barrel shroud of the NXS has been replaced with an anodized red aluminum barrel shroud dropping six ounces off the weight of the revolver. And just like the NXS, the NXA is also offered with an optional nine millimeter cylinder. There you go, the 44 Magnum Raging Hunter from Taurus. Uh, overall, pretty sweet deal. There you go, you can throw your optic on there. I like this barrel, it's got a little bit of a port there. Uh, the, the kick, it's a 44 Magnum, so you're gonna feel a little bit of that recoil, but it's not too bad, you can handle that. The adjustable rear sight, I like that as well. The grip's really nice, and it feels pretty good in my hand too for a bad boy gun like that. Six shots, we all know that it is a revolver. Uh, I like it. It retails at about $900. That's the MSRP. New for Kimber's 2020 lineup is the K6S DASA 4-inch target. In the same small frame as other K6S revolvers, this model includes features that benefit the target and competition shooter. Starting with the sights, the target model wears a red fiber optic front sight. The rear sight is adjustable, blacked out, and serrated to aid in sight picture acquisition. As the name suggests, this model has a 4-inch barrel suited for target shooting. Paired with walnut laminate grips, these larger profile three-finger grips have checkering for confidence under fire.
With a cylinder among the smallest diameter on the market for its six-shot capacity, this 4-inch model retains its efficient use of material. Despite its size, the K6S DASA 4-inch target is chambered in 357 Magnum and 38 Special. Engineered at a weight that absorbs recoil, yet slim enough to never weigh you down. Chambers are recessed, and three points of contact during lockup make for a premium grade revolver with a durable, brushed, stainless finish throughout. The K6S features the same show stopping trigger found in all our revolvers with an 11.5 pound to 9 pound trigger in double action and a crisp 3.5 to 4 pound single action press. Hi, I'm Jerry Mitchellark, one of the members of the Smith & Wesson Pro Shooting Team. And what I'd like to introduce to you is the new Performance Center 986 revolver in 9mm. One thing you notice with the 986 revolver, it comes with a fully adjustable rear sight for windage and elevation. It comes with the Performance Center barrel. So it's a broach cut barrel, but it also has their precision crown on it. And those two features really make for a very accurate combination. One feature unique to this revolver is a titanium cylinder. It's cut for moon clips, but the titanium offers the shooter a very fast trigger pull. There's less rotational mass, and that equals a very smooth and consistent double acting trigger pull. Another feature is the Performance Center tuned double action trigger. And what that means to the user is it's hard chrome plated. They do a trigger job on it, come with the Boss mainspring, makes for a very crisp, consistent trigger. How we doing folks? Graham Rockwell here, Newport, New Hampshire, here to talk about Ruger's newest custom shop gun, the Super GP100. The custom shop Super GP100, chambered in 357 Magnum, boasts an eight shot cylinder, a peg style grip frame that features a hand finished wooden hogue grip. The frame and barrel have been matte finished to help reduce glare and increase durability. This firearm features the Super Red Hawk action with polished and optimized internals to allow for a smooth double action trigger pull as well as a crisp and consistent let off. And the cylinder and extractor have been cut for moon clips to allow for ease of loading as well as faster extraction. Additionally, on the Super GP100, we have a cold hammer forged barrel with an 11 degree target crown for increased accuracy. So there you have it, your first look at the new Colt Python. Let's take a deep dive into some of the features and I'll show you what we've done to upgrade it. Okay guys, the thing you need to know about this is it's not just a remake of the old Colt Python, it's actually been improved in a lot of ways. Number one, starting with the materials, it's a much stronger stainless steel and we've actually increased some of the uh, some of the frame, uh, kind of the beefiness of the frame up above the cylinder to, in order to strengthen the frame from both twisting and stretching. We've incorporated the user replaceable front sight from the King Cobra into the Python. So that means instead of having a either a one or a two pin system that the old pythons had, uh, you can actually use a hex screw and you can remove this front sight and you can actually interchange it with any of the King Cobra or Cobra front sights. As you can see, we've got a redesigned target adjustable rear sight. Um, it allows for actually more frame material. That's part of the reason it's been redesigned and also it's a stronger sight. As you can see, the barrel has a recessed target crown. This is actually a one-piece barrel. Sometimes we get questions about whether or not it might be a two-piece barrel. It is a one-piece barrel, but we recess that target crown in order to prevent damage to the crown. That'll ensure that you get a lifetime of accuracy out of this. We really kept the look and feel of the gun, as you can see, with the vent rib barrel and the full underlug uh, barrel. That really gives the the gun sort of some weight up above, up, up in line with the bore so that when you're shooting the gun, it actually feels really good. It uh, really kind of tames that 357. Um, also the, uh, the grips, these are really classic Python grips. These uh, happen to be walnut with a uh, medallion and then uh, that wide spur serrated hammer. Last but not least, we knew that we were going to be judged on the trigger pull of this gun. It's a fully redesigned action still a leaf spring mechanism, but with 14 less parts. So the only thing I can really tell you about this trigger pull at this point is you need to feel it for yourself.
as you can see, our initial release of the Python is going to be in two barrel lengths. We've got a six inch barrel here, and we've actually got a four and a quarter inch barrel down here. Mm -hmm.